catch the dude. Just stay on his Twitter, stay on his Instagram. He says where he's going to be. That's neither here nor there with me. So, you know, um, you know, I've seen people say ridiculous things like, Ack, you were trying to line him up when he came to New York. What type of ridiculous stuff is that, right? So, yeah. Um, but, you know, for, for the people who were offended, um, I, I, I hope... I, there should be some happiness here, right? Like, you know what I mean? New York is a place that is very inclusive of everybody. And if you were someone who's Asian and you felt like, what the fuck? Like, please don't tell me this nigga's going to get a paycheck in my city after he just dissed my people. You know what I mean? And also, I've told people when it comes to shit like that is like, you don't have the freedom to just go anywhere, right? And do anything, right? Like, for example, I am Jamaican. If I owned all the Jamaican beef patties in the world and you said, fuck Jamaica, Nigga, I might tell you you can't come to my Jamaican store. Like, it's just kind of kind of like normal and simple. Now, I know you might be like, well, okay, that's a, a private independent business owner. But as I said, um, Asians are protected people in America, okay? Asians are protected. The Jewish people are protected. If you're a nigga, you asked out. But it, it, you need to leave those groups alone. And honestly, I think Charleston, while attacking, um, I, don't, I don't know how that beef started, so I want to act like I'm choosing sides. While getting that China Mac in however way, he should have kept it to China Mac. But I've learned that lesson too. And it was, you know, I've realized my errors in my way. Yo, if you get, if you talking about one particular old dusty rapper, call that old dusty rapper out. So Charleston should have talked about China Mac. And it, it, it's kind of interesting though, right? Because... I seen some stuff happen with Math Hoffa, and I try to keep out of all of this stuff, right? You know, the Math Hoffa stuff was nowhere even in the radar. <laughs> They're like, yo, we're only mad at him for doing one thing. I'm like, only one thing? They're like, yeah, one thing. <laughs> I'm like, all right. <laughs> it's like it's like they it's like they listen to whatever happened with like Math Hoffa and they'll be like, oh, that's nigga shit. All right, back to what we care about though. Get him out of here. <laughs> Yo, that's what I'm trying to tell you, man. Um, uh, somebody says, yeah, it's, yeah, it's not China Mac. Is, is the people like China Mac doesn't represent all Asian people, right? Like, I believe, no, not believe he is Asian, but um, shit, it's it's very interesting that all ethnic groups usually get people in power to represent anybody who tries to oppress them and they usually put an end to that some things start happening to asian people we get a bill some things start happening or someone says something that seems targeted towards asian people you're canceled motherfucker you say something towards some black people it's like eh, well that's a nigga's doing a nigga shit anyway it, it, it's fine and and um i think i've answered every question unless y'all got anything to ask uh, I do want to apologize. I, I do want to send an apology, though, right? So I, I do want to apologize to anybody who felt like this was a um, this was a a cosign of somebody spreading hate on Asian people, or even spreading hate. Period. I look at Charleston White as a comedic individual. I don't take a lot of the shit he says seriously. Um, but if you did think that, that's an apology for you. I will also give an apology for a lot of people who are buying tickets. Um, and scheduling your accommodations. I, I know my man Trapalo Ross was about to like, uh, try to attend the venue or the event. Um, I know people from LA, I don't want to call out everybody's names, but I really, I'm sorry for you guys. If you made any plans, if you booked a flight, if you booked a hotel, I sincerely apologize. And that's where the, um, the brunt of my, um, like bad feeling about this is because I understand how much commitment it takes for you to say, I'm going somewhere, especially if you're not even from there. And a lot of people are coming to New York, and I feel horrible, okay? And by the way, not that this should be the reason that you do still come, because there is an event. That's why I said no event. But I will have, I will be having a opening of a second headquarters space in New York. Well, yeah, in New York. Um, that same week, or not weekend, in those same following days. And if you are here and, you know, if you were going to go to an event, 
um, I would invite you to uh, the headquarters space to see the new space and to see like what we got going on. So, you know, that's just a little consolation price in case you, you bought a flight or a hotel and you can't get out of it or they won't give you your money back or whatever the fuck the case is. If you are in the New York City area, I am going to have a like a soft grand opening and I would love for, you know, chat to come there. OK. And and yes, it, it, it is of the academy. All right. Um, we're going to be having, you know, some catered shit. I, I, I'll i be able to I can't accommodate too many people, but I, I want to be able to give some people a tour of um, both our spaces, show them like, you know, what the vision is for the next um, year. So, you know, good things are to come. But um, this was a uh, um, unfortunate misstep. OK. Somebody says access, no refund. No, no. Oh, oh, that's another thing. You it, you will automatically get a refund. So you will automatically get a refund, okay? Auto, so if you bought tickets, and I know a lot of people bought um, um, what do you call it again? Meet and greet tickets. You automatically would get a refund. Um, this is kind of like a in a good way. No one's losing out here. All the deposits will be returned. We're all good. By the way, I did have another thought, right? So my headquarters space, I was thinking about possibly just seeing if we could remodel that to do the event there because we have a big space. But then I was thinking about fire marshals and shit like that. Like how many people could I hold in there? And is it set up for a comedy event? And I was just like, bro, just like, one thing you learn in life is is that don't try to fight the 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 don't try to fight the wave bro you know what i mean or pick and choose your battles so it's all good all right we are going to talk about this whole uh this is so fucking all right are we done with this any more questions any more questions this is like a press conference any more questions and then we're going to get into our first topic There is some conversation about Charlotte. Um, if me and Charleston do an event, uh, um, it, it's going to be a few months from now. It wouldn't be on that date, okay? It wouldn't be on that date. We're, we're gonna le we're gonna let that date slide. Um, but maybe in September. No. <laughs> uh, I've been hearing a lot about Charlotte, though. Charlotte. Who lives in Charlotte? What the fuck? Is anybody why I live in Charlotte? Somebody says, I ain't gonna lie, I don't think people, yo, people in the South don't care about nothing. But <laughs> yo, I swear, if this was Miami, they, they, I don't think they give a fuck neither. Oh, there's some Charlotte people there. Somebody said, I should do another New York show, but just make it all streamers. What do y'all think about that? What do y'all think about that? If I do a show in 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 um, New York, and I make it more of a streamers like event, where it's like, yo, I don't know, get like a couple popular streamers, hopefully that y'all fuck with, and maybe also personalities, and it's like a variety show, like you know, niggas could I don't know, niggas could get on there and do magic tricks, tell jokes, just fuck around with the fans. Whatever, like, who cares? Maybe, maybe some shit like that. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. Um, again, I'm I'm just fortunate enough that we're in a place that we could put these things on. Hold on. Yeah, we could put these things in the atmosphere, and we'll see what happens. All right, are we good? Somebody said, "Now nah, we need a comedy show." Yeah, I do think I need a comedy show. Uh, somebody said, "W Magic Tricks." <laughs> So it's supposed to sound like a meet and greet event. Yeah, that's why I didn't want it to sound like. <laughs> okay. Mm. Somebody said Spotify and Twitch says you better apologize. Who the fuck could tell me to apologize? What would I do? I didn't do nothing. Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> Somebody said, nah, if you do that, nigga, that's like some Drewski shit. <laughs> stop. Yo, stop playing. All right, it's going to be a straight comedy show. All right, I'm done. I'm done. Enough. Let's get on to some topics. Yo, people, uh, yo, this is so.